My name is Susan. I'm Susan Namangale. So I was I was born in a family of eight. Um, I grew up, you know, with my with my mother, um, a single mother, and I grew up in this village, a chombo uh, in Kota Kota. So uh, growing up um, with my uh, six sisters and my late brother. So I recall um, when I was young, I had to help my mother, you know, uh, fetch firewood. We would wake up early in the morning to go fetch firewood. You know, we'd go, you know, to the lake to, you know, get some fish, you know, and then we would do, make some for, you know, like sell some. And then also we would go to the, um, to the field and get some sugar cane for sale. And we use that money you know, um, uh, to help us, you know, you know, buy the necessities for the home. And so that was life, you know, back then. And um, I know now when I talk about it with my sisters, we laugh about it. Um, I went to school at, at uh, Chombofu Primary School um, when I was, I was six years old. Uh, so that's like 41 years ago, right? So I was, I, I did, I did my primary school, a, a good part of my primary school um, at this school. So it's brought all those memories, you know, of over 40 years, like 41 years when I started my school here. And it's, it's quite great that the kids here now can play chess. When I went to secondary school, I went to Providence Secondary School. Um, and so uh, at Providence, I found a chess club. And so I joined the chess club. Um, and so when I joined the chess club, I recall that our school only had two chess sets. And me and my friends, we put together our little pocket money and we bought uh, an additional chess set. And now that's how I became, I became the club, the club leader for our chess club. And our club became active. I recall I started, you know, um, winning against my, my patron at that time. Yeah, so I think from there, I saw that, you know, um, in terms of my education, my performance in class, I started improving a lot, especially in mathematics. So I think my, my problem solving, you know, um, uh, skills uh, were enhanced because I recall when I had just come, you know, um, to, the, to the secondary school, my performance was, was, was not good in mathematics. And, and I think after that, that's when I was selected to the university. I went to the Polytechnic uh, University. And while I was there, I continued, you know, uh, playing chess and uh, joined again um, a chess club. And while at the university, I recall there were only two ladies, you know, that were, you know, that had joined the chess club. And so I recall we used to go, you know, to other universities, you know, to play chess. And I recall I was one of the first, um, um, the first, you know, uh, um, the first part of the first team that, that participated in the first international tournament uh, uh, in Malawi. Because of the demands of work, but also I got married at that time and I, it became quite hard, quite tough for me to continue, you know, um, you know, playing chess, especially on the weekends and all that. So I decided that I will use my time to help, you know, the administrative side of uh, chess. So I became, you know, like an administrator, helping out to the league in my, in my district, helping up set up tournaments. And um, yeah, so I think from there, that's when I just moved up and I, um, um, I just continued. And that's, you know, I also contested to become president for the association. And so I became president and un until last year when I retired as, uh, as, as president. When my term was coming to an end, I made an announcement to the chess community in Malawi that I was not going to contest again. It was quite um, a decision, you know, that many people never expected because at that time I was doing so well. I was winning awards. I had won as a best sports administrator for two consecutive years. Uh, I also, you know, uh, won uh, the, the Chairman's Excellence Awards in sports. And so it came as a surprise, but this is the decision that I made. And um, uh, what I decided to do was to, you know, uh, contest at a higher level, like to just coordinate activities in the zone. Um, 
um, and which I did, and I got I got that position as a zone as a zone 4.5 uh, president. Uh, but in Malawi, what I did was to start my own academy. So I started a chess academy, um, and my chess academy had a goal that I should you know it should help me reach out, you know, to as many to as many kids, especially in the rural areas where I come from, because I was remembering my background. So I wanted to make chess accessible by many children, especially in the rural areas. Um, and then uh, recently this year, I enrolled uh, for a conference called Chess for Freedom Conference, um, which was going to take place in Chicago in the US. So I enrolled for that conference and I was part of, you know, the participants uh, of, that, of that conference. And while I was there, that's when I met uh, Russ. Um, um, the, f the founder for the gift of chess. So I was sitting next to Raz. So we had a conversation about many things, right? Uh, I told him what I do and a lot of things. So, you know, we, we started talking from there. And, you know, then I agreed that I would become, you know, um, the gift of chess ambassador uh, for, for Malawi. So immediately when I go back, in fact, I started whilst I was, I was already there, you know, I started putting up, you know, structures, I'm putting up my volunteers team. And, and, and when I got uh, back here, you know, like everything was already, you know, coming into place. Our volunteers were committed. I had meetings with them. We put up, you know, our plans in terms of how we are going to distribute the chess sets when we get them in country. And, you know, when the chess sets came, everyone was busy, they believed you know, in what I was doing, everyone was dedicated and passionate, and we rolled out um, 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 the chess, chess sets distribution. So, and then uh, two weeks later, after, after we rolled out, strangely, and I didn't expect it, that's when, you know, uh, um, uh, the founder announced that he decided, you know, um, with the approval of the board, to appoint me as the global head for the gift of chess. So it was a shock to me, I said I was nervous because at that, at that moment, I was not sure about a lot of things, you know, but I, I accepted the challenge, I took it head on. So that's how, you know, I became, I became the global head and I took, I took on the responsibility. So now I'm speaking as the global head for the gift of chess. And our goal is to distribute 1 million chess sets globally by 2030. Why chess is because, you know, um, we believe that chess is a low cost tool uh, that can be used to, you know, unlock our potential. It's low cost, but with high impact. And so we want to make chess sets available uh, universally uh, because we want many children to be able to, ac to access, you know, chess sets and be able to unlock um, opportunities because the world is full of opportunities and you know um, every child you know out there you know no matter what circumstances they are they've got the potential you know to you know to be successful yeah so chess means everything to me yeah it means a lot to me chess has helped me you know it has built my network of friends across across the globe i'm here because of chess you know now now i'm the global head because of because of chess Chess has made me, you know, travel a lot. You know, I go to countries that I would never imagined that I would go to. So I'm so excited to arrive um, uh, on Likoma Island. So um, without, you know, coming here with chess sets as part of the global uh, distribution of the one million chess sets that we're distributing uh, globally uh, by 2030, we're expecting that we are actually we are going to make chess active in Likoma. So exciting because this is my first time to be on the island. I've not been on the island before, but this is my home. My mom actually comes here, but I've never been here uh, before. So as part of this trip, I know we're coming here for Chase and Chase has brought me here. And thank you uh, to Gift of Chase. But through that, I'm hoping that I'll trace the roots of my mother because my mother, she's got a cousin who lives here and I'm going to search for her and make sure that I find her. I don't know yet where she stays, but I'm hoping, you know, that I'll see her.
So this is the moment that I've been waiting for. So remember when I said um, I'm so glad that Chess is taking me to Likoma because that's where my roots are. I've never been in Likoma, it's my first time. And I knew that my mom, you know, comes from here, from Likoma, though I've not been here, you know. So there was no way my mom would have brought me here, but it's Chase that has brought me here. So thank you, the gift of Chase, uh, for connecting me to my roots. Chase is not just a game. <laughs>